Hi guys, this is Ash here and this is my tutorial on how to install the beta version of Chris Kahlo's ICS ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note. So in this tutorial, I will be helping you guys install uh, the latest update as of uh, March uh, March the 12th, that, that, that is uh, beta 4. Okay, so how do we go about doing this? Before we get to that, the prerequisite is that you need to have a rooted phone with clockwork uh, mod recovery installed on it so in case you don't have that click on the link that pops up right now and uh, get your phone rooted okay uh, so just to show you guys I'm currently running rocket ROM version 22 Android 2.3.6 okay uh, these are the four files that you need to get downloaded and among these four files you find i9220lp1 n7000 ics repack.tar.zip so you right click on it and hit extract here so the files that you're going to transform to the root of your micro sd card are this star file and the other three files that you downloaded just transfer these four files onto the root of your micro sd card and once you're done with that we get back to the phone so guys, once you have uh, transferred the four files over, uh, you need to get this app called Mobile Loadin from the market. So once you've downloaded and installed it, just go ahead, open it up. It will ask you for root uh, super user. It'll give you a super user request. Tap allow. If it asks you anything, just tap download and uh, give it a little bit of time. Okay, now that mobile loadin is up, you just scroll down, tap open file, external SD card, and you will find your .tar file over there. Select it, tap OK, and now just now just hit flash firmware. Do not change anything, uh, any of the settings over here. Just tap flash firmware. Uh, as the warning says, try to keep your battery level over 50%. I'm on 49, doesn't matter really, so I'm just going on. Continue. So guys, the uh, firmware has been flashed and we are on clockwork mod recovery again. So right now what you do is you go into wipe data factory reset and delete all user data. Enough go to wipe cache partition, wipe cache. Now advanced and wipe Dalvik cache. So enough go back and uh, scroll down to install zip from SD card select it again for anyone wondering your volume rockers will act uh, as buttons to scroll and the home button will be the button button that selects stuff so go to choose zip from SD card the first option enough navigate to Chris Kilo ROM note ICS beta 3 do not install the update right now, install the beta 3. So select it, go down and select yes. And again, the phone will, I mean, uh, the ROM will be flashed, so it's gonna take a little bit of time, so just wait till then. Okay, now the ROM has been flashed. So again, once again, what we do is we go back and we do the wipe data factory reset again. This is very important because if you don't do this, the ROM is not going to function properly. So, wipe cache partition. Enough, go down to advanced and wipe Dalvik cache. Okay, now that's done. 
go back okay now you select reboot system now so uh, the ROM will boot up give it a minute or two and guys remember the first time a ROM boots up it's always going to take longer than it usually does uh, you know otherwise so be patient give it a few minutes and the ROM should boot up and if any of you actually get stuck you know with the same boot animation looping it means you've not uh, wipe, done the wipe factory reset uh, either at the start or later on so you need to go back and repeat the steps again so there you go we've got uh, ICS up so let me just quickly go into touchless launcher touchless launcher works uh, but we are not yet done okay so now what you need to do is you need to hold the power button and turn off the phone and once the phone is off hold the up volume power and home buttons at the same time till you see Samsung Galaxy Note displayed on the screen once you see it let it go you will reboot back into recovery and guys this time make sure you don't do any kind of uh, you know factory reset or you know wipe wiping stuff right now you just go into uh, install zip from SD card and again choose zip from SD card and you select G apps G apps ICS 2012 that's the one and yes install G apps okay now that's done again go to choose zip from SD card and this time select update Grayscale ROM Note ICS V1 Beta 4 and go to install update so once this is done just go back and reboot system now okay and now we are up so you can go ahead and add your Google credentials so let me quickly do that and get back to you okay I've added my credentials and opening up touchless launcher so just to show you guys settings about phone and you can see that's Chris Rom Note ICS V1 and that's Android 4.0.3 so that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys if you have any kind of questions or queries leave it in the comment section if it's a little bit I mean, if it's technical you know have any you're running into any issues with the installation try to email me because it's easier for me to keep track of the correspondence so that i know what i've been telling you guys uh my email id um, um the link to my facebook and twitter pages are all in the description so uh, you can get it from there uh and of course as always you know hit the like button hit the subscribe button uh, that's pretty much it guys uh, uh, one more thing is you know when you're installing an ICS ROM keep in mind that the ICS ROMs right now uh, you know uh, beta versions so they are supposed to be a little buggy though the developers are working on it so in case you change your mind and you want to revert back to gingerbread you can click on the link that pops up over here and that will take you to the to my tutorial on how you get back to gingerbread from this uh, so once again, that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye now.